big day, isn't it? We're oh, here yeah. with makeup artist yeah. Jill Geyser, and she's talking about what's appropriate for a teenager, Teen Makeup 101. All right, let's first start, Jill, with what, what's the right age? And I think a lot of parents probably struggle with this one. I think that's a question the parents have to answer with themselves and their teenagers, a discussion that they should have, the other discussion, when to wear makeup. <laughs> but I believe uh, makeup is a self-expression, form of self-expression, so if they experiment at home and then they wash their face before they go out, you know, they can start as young as they want. But as far as going to school, we want to keep those faces fresh and radiant and yes. natural and young. Let's talk about what might be too much. Give us an idea of where, okay. where you know definitely this is crossing the line. Okay. Well, um, the cat eye is very much in style this season on the runway. Yes. So um, Taylor Mumpson has got a very strong cat eye as well as a very hard red lip. And it's very aging for her. So I would try and stay away from that. Um, there's uh, Selena Gomez, who's very, very young, and mm -hmm. she's always looked older. Well, she's actually looked young with older makeup on. Her eyes can sometimes be very harsh, um, smoky, um, she, and she just looks harder and older than her age. And then Kendall Jenner um, and um, Abigail Breslin. Abigail Breslin. Abigail Breslin. Yeah, they look a little bit hard for their age. They're actually very young and it's kind of inappropriate to walk around with so much makeup on. We all know though when we see celebrities doing it, young girls will want to do it as well, but right. let's talk about what the right answer is. You have some, you have an example here, show us what right. to do that's right. We and Alina, Alina is here with us. Thank you for modeling and showing us. Yes. How old are you? I'm 16. 16, okay, so what would be appropriate? Well, Alina has got a beautiful face. She's very young, she's very fresh. She's a high schooler. And um, we want to keep everything pretty neutral and then a little pop of color maybe on the cheeks or the lips, but we want to keep it very sheer. Um, if we do go with any eyeshadows, we want to make sure that the eyeshadows are either neutral, maybe a tiny bit of color, but shimmer is always very pretty for the night. It looks gorgeous. Are you comfortable with this? Would you normally wear this makeup or more makeup or less makeup, would you say? About this amount. This About time. that much. But at high school, do you see people with more makeup than that? or Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, some people put on a lot of eyeliner. Mm -hmm. The yeah. cat eye thing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. So with Selena, we, 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 um, sorry, with Alina, we don't have any eyeliner at all. In fact, we've used a clear mascara instead of a black mascara, so that it's more of a natural look. We've done nothing to the brows. We've used a... Um, a tinted moisturizer with an SPF so the skin is protected from the sun at an early age and yeah. it kind of evens out the skin tone. If Alina we, looks gorgeous. Yes. You, really, you really do. Jill, I just yes. want to say thank you for breaking it down. We're going to have more on our website for that. Jill Glazer telling us more about makeup tips for teenagers. We have much more ahead here on Good Day Chicago, but as we head to the break,